Hello and welcome to a quick overview of what's new in version 22.2. Let's start with uh, it carries variants that has been significantly upgraded. So you can see the variants visual here and um, you might already see the new way of presenting data. So we always had the, the bars with the variance um, visualization, but now a lot of effort has been uh, made to turn this into a KPI card. So you can see already here, this is you know more the KPI card orientated use of the visual as opposed to the original one, which was more focused on small multiples variance visualization. So what we also see here now are the new uh, forecasting features. So we see there's a it's a vertical line here now, and that's the cutoff date. So up until this cutoff date, it will show the normal variance. And then from this cutoff date, it will not show any more the results uh, scenario, which is called comparison in the visual, but it will only show the value scenario, which is typically a plan scenario. And then it's not just the display, but it's the the result calculation as well. So when you're using this cutoff, it will show the actuals, so it will calculate the actuals up until this point, and then for the rest of the period, uh, the plan. And that will give you a projection, and it will also show you uh, the cutoff date, the projection from, in this case, the cutoff date is May, and then the, um, the variance to the total plan, whatever that was. In this case, we had a total plan across the entire year of 26.8 million. And our the projected results, so the actuals up until five, and then from then the plan, the difference to this plan is uh, 8.4 million, which is equates to 31%. And to set this uh, cutoff date, this is now a option in the visual. So if you look at the visual options here, we have now a property here for cutoff period. So that means that this is turned on and you can also see where this is set at the moment. So you can see I have at the moment a cutoff index of four. The reason that this is four is because we're starting at zero. So this would be zero, one, two, three, four. So this is set at four at the moment. And you can, the users can change this, but you have to be in edit mode. So, and, and this is purpose on purpose so that not everyone can change this cutoff date but you have to have the rights to be in edit mode, which I am here, so this is not read mode. And if you're in edit mode, uh, you can go to the edit mode in the visual, which is obviously two different things, so the edit mode in the visual and the edit mode in of the Power BI report are two different things. Both of them have to be turned on to change this. And then once you're in edit mode, you can just right click on the bar, you can see if now the new label index is five and the period is 21 six so that has changed now the um the display so i'm seeing now the actuals until this cut of date and then for the rest the the plan there's unfortunately a bug in power bi visuals so that this doesn't get updated so the visual doesn't get the latest data um, but we can easily fix this by just clicking on refresh here and that will give you the uh, the bars as well until the, the end of the period. So we've got another cutoff date, six. We've, we have the updated total, so the actuals up until six. And then the plans are 35.59 projection from June. So this is the new cutoff date uh, projection feature. The next one is the, the KPI card focus customization. So you have now the option to customize every little aspect of the display. So we can, you can see, you know, show the comparison, show the value total, show scenario level, show variance, show variation percent. So all the aspects that you see here, you know, the, the plan value, the absolute difference, the relative difference, all this you can customize here now if you want to show it, in what format you want to show it, and so on. So really makes <clears throat> for a great way to show your KPIs, obviously with all the Power BI feature, so you can see you've got the tool tips here. You you could do the drill throws, you could do custom tool tips, all that. And even in a small, in a small uh, display like we have here, where the visual is really only quite small. Also, obviously the the drill down, so you can drill down uh, to whatever categories 
you have in the visual. Other thing that I just quickly wanted to mention here, important for from a visualization perspective, is that you're using the same scale here so that they are comparable. And this is also what's possible. As these are separate visuals, we can't do this automatically. If you're using the small multiples, then obviously that is automatically scaled to uh, to a maximum. But if it's different visuals, you can't do this. So what we are now also supporting here is the option to set a uh, a scale. So if we go down here in the visual properties, you see now here you've got axis maximum, and that. And if you have this all at the same maximum value, so in my case here it's 5 million, then the bars will be all comparable. So this bar here will compare to that one and so on. So it will really give you a, a proper understanding of, you know, what's my profit, what's my revenue, and they, they really directly compare to each other. We often see the, the mistake that people make where they have, you know, one scale here. One scale there, it looks like they're similar uh, in value, but they're not because the scales are completely different. One, one other minor thing, you can also now set the angle for the label. If the label uh, doesn't fit, you have no options to set that as well. And obviously all the features that used to be in the previous version of the visual as well.